1,400 member companies, 60% of them small businesses, more than 9,800 people accessing chamber benefits, and an increase of new members of more than 20%. All of it happening in 2023. More than metrics, the numbers represent people. Tampa Bay Chamber members, expanding their circles of influence and benefiting from professional development. The membership department alone hosting 32 events in 12 months that provided access to more than 53 hours of learning. A member benefit valued at nearly $100,000. I really leaned in at the Tampa Bay Chamber when I first moved to Florida because I knew no one. And so I started at square one. I've been able to build a professional career in Tampa Bay as well as build a business that I don't think I would have been able to do without the Chamber. We, we are who we are because the Chamber was there at every stage of the journey. For companies like Revstar, the Chamber's operation partnership paved the way to hire a service member transitioning out of the military, Marine Mark Oler. Revstar is just one of more than 700 businesses and organizations involved in Transition Tampa Bay since it began. For our business and cloud native software development, we have really demanding and complex requirements. We have really versatile teams. And so the impeccable leadership and communication skills that our military veterans bring to our business has a profound impact, not just for our teams, but also for our clients. Thank you to the Tampa Bay Chamber for offering this program. I was one of those veterans who didn't know what they wanted to do. I got my education here at University of Tampa and I asked myself, what do I want to do next? So the chamber allowed me to connect the dots. This Marine and this Airman, among the 900 veterans and military spouses helped by Operation Partnership to date. It was pretty challenging to find my fit right away, but I got plugged into the chamber, uh, which was probably the best uh, decision I could have made and the best group of individuals that I could have gotten plugged into. The Chamber's Workforce Development Committee helps to create educational initiatives and partnerships with the business community to help address workforce needs in our region. Just ask Tampa Electric and Hillsborough Community College. With our retiring workforce, we have more of this leaving from retirement than we have coming in. So we got with HCC to develop this program, this Apprentice Line Worker Program, that can help replenish our workforce at Tampa Electric. Hillsborough Community College is very involved in the Tampa Chamber, and one of that uh, pieces of involvement is through the Workforce Development Committee. It's incredibly important to develop the next workforce and the needs of our community, and we've done exactly that with Tampa Electric. In the nation, Leadership Tampa is the third oldest leadership program of its kind. Exclusive to the Tampa Bay Chamber, it has served more than 2,750 professionals. Because the Chamber offered Leadership Tampa, I was able to find an opportunity to connect with the community that I was new to. Your Chamber stories are being shared with business communities around the country and the world. In Switzerland, during the World Chambers Congress, the stories of these two members helped illustrate the impact of the Minority Business Accelerator, now in year five. And so when you have a moment to take the time to come back and share a message like this, I, I just want to do it justice. Ashley was a franchisee of one location before the Accelerator. She's a franchisor in five counties today. But what happened is that they ignited a thirst inside of me and a knowing and an understanding and a belief in myself that when the opportunity came, I pounced and I was ready. It's a transformation experienced by this entrepreneur as well. We went from selling food out of a trunk of our car to being in award-winning, multi-million dollar grossing company. The Accelerator, just the first stop in Lanise's chamber journey. Today, she's working with sponsor companies as the chair of the Minority Empowerment Program, and one day hopes to be the chair of the chamber. Members aspiring to be more and being equipped to do so, including the man behind this camera, Kennard Robinson of Empowering Creative, a graduate of the Minority Empowerment Program. At the Tampa Bay Chamber, when we started our Vision 2026 plan seven years ago, 
We did that with the focus of not what we wanted to see then, but what we want to see now and into the future. Chambers are coming from around the United States to learn what we're doing and learn what this community is achieving and what programming we're offering through our chamber. Now is when members need to be getting involved. We're in year eight. We're gonna be pushing hard as we wanna finish strong and set up for the next plan. But truly, we want every member to realize we have swung our doors open so wide, every single member is welcome to come in and grab a seat at the table, roll up your sleeves and get to work.